Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump into the charts right now. And thank you for liking the video. Helps me out a lot. Right. We have a lot of trades to talk about here today, but what I will talk about is uh, first the caution, right? Uh, what is happening with Bitcoin right now? Uh, is this bullish? I know we've had a bit of a bullish day, uh, but nothing crazy, okay? Uh, and uh, there is the argument before we do get into this that we are just absorbing this wick towards the other side before continuation, right? So we will talk about a few scenarios here today, but uh, more importantly, how to make money from them uh, and also the cautionary aspect if you are more of an investor, right? So, uh, and that, that applies to altcoins as well well, right? Because Bitcoin will lead all of the other altcoins, uh, particularly, uh, I mean, particularly now, right? If Bitcoin dumps down to 52k, then uh, yeah, altcoins will take a massive, massive leap off a cliff here, right? So without further ado, let's jump into this. We can see the bull market barrier. We have spent multiple days inside this thing now. This is typically a very, very bearish sign, okay? Uh, if we look in the past run, the most recent run we had, right, uh, in 2021, we can see we didn't violate this at all uh, throughout the entire run. Yes, it was a super aggressive run, but as soon as we closed multiple daily candles inside it, well, uh, it just got bad and we entered a bear market, okay? Uh, before that, before that here, the run uh, in 2017 to 2018, we can see we did violate this, but rarely with multiple daily candles, right? So uh, really, really important data here. This was the only one where we had multiple daily candles, and this is nothing like what we have right now. Right now, we have li literally like a week of, of daily candles in here, right? Usually, we get massive, massive uh, explosions towards the upside, uh, and then obviously here, we can see 2016. This is probably the only example we can see where uh, we have spent uh, essentially multiple months inside the bull market barrier and then fought back through and went on a massive run. Ideally, we get something like this, of course, <laughs> right? But uh, I'm not going to be super, uh, super into that, right? Uh, I'm not going to say that's definitely going to happen because it might not, all right? But ideally, that does happen, of course, right? So right now, caution in the wind. I am expecting a massive bounce soon, okay? So my, my video yesterday, yes, uh, I am still uh, staying true to that. I do believe that we get a massive bounce soon. Obviously, we've had many, many red candles here, a uh, very steep off a cliff, and uh, typically when you do get something like that, you can expect some spillover, right? So this is what we're really targeting right now. If we are looking at this in terms of a chart aspect, uh, what we should be expecting ideally here is a pump up to this trend line at some point. This trend line is roughly around 64.2. Uh, if it were to go there today, it would be obviously super bullish because we get a bullish engulfing, right? But uh, yeah, if we were to get there today, it would be 65.2. I don't think, I, I really don't think that happens today. Uh, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about that, but if it does happen, really, really bullish and we could probably expect a reversal from that point, okay? But uh, as of right now, I am sticking to, to the strategy here where we are expecting potentially a continuation dump here with this wick being absorbed. Okay, so maybe we hit this four hour volume weighted ATR band at 62K on the index. Okay, this is a, it is gonna be different on other exchanges and there will be longs that we could potentially take uh, if we do get over that four hour volume weighted ATR band. But uh, as of right now, yes, on the index, uh, it is roughly around 62K and that should be where we're looking at for potential resistance here. If we do get over that, I would be expecting us to head up to, to about 64k uh, over the next few days. But uh, I think what's more likely is we come up, we test this, we fall off a cliff again, uh, and then we probably head down to this area at 57k one more time. You're probably wondering what these lines are that I've drawn. I know uh, it looks a little bit messy. So what we will do, actually, no, most of this is pretty valid. So uh, yeah, no, we'll leave it all on. We'll leave it all on here. Uh, so yeah, just to explain everything that's happening here, obviously, we've got our structural line here. Okay, so this line coming up, this is important. We have lost that, but we haven't retested it. So there is potential here for a little bit of a pump, but again, looking quite bearish across the board. Uh, we have these lines at the bottom here. So we have this line, which is uh, obviously our main trend line here from candle bodies. Then we have our trap below, okay? Uh, we have our trap below candle body here, which does align with the structural, right? Uh, and then 
uh, we have this wick here touching that candle body, which does make a pretty decent trap zone. You could draw a trap zone down here. There's just not really anything. Uh, we don't really have multiple touches on this. So this is why we're keeping this with candle bodies uh, and uh, obviously this wick here. Okay, so one thing I do think that could happen here with this parallel coming through is uh, us coming down uh, and just tapping on 57 for this kind of area, right? 57K and then uh, potentially having a bounce up from that point, okay? and then retesting this three day and then if we get over that three day great okay if we don't get over that three day after the retest then uh, yeah it, it spells pretty bad news for Bitcoin and then we could e we could easily have a measure move down here uh, to let's just see where this measure move would get us okay just above our, our main structural line here uh, from the bottom side so uh, yeah I mean this actually as a target 50k I I'm not super expecting this to happen of course but we're talking about the bearish first because we are in a downtrend, okay? So uh, I, I do want to be more realistic here. If we do get a major falling off a cliff here, uh, it's not the end of the world. We can still continue the run, but uh, if we do head down to this area, it's quite likely that we do spend a lot of time down here, like a mini bear market to say, to, to put it simply, right? Uh, so potentially uh, all the way up to December, this kind of area where we do just kind of trade between say 50K and 60K uh, and then eventually break through through around Christmas uh, and then begin the run again next year. I think that is a plausible realistic scenario if the dump continues. Okay, I'm not super bearish as I said, but we have to look at this uh, just on a logical, in a logical way, right? And we have to say, okay, uh, yes, this, this does look bad and this isn't something that, that we're gonna be blindly buying the dip on. Uh, my strategy is still holding true here. What I'm looking for is one last dump down and then I want a, a little grid bot here Okay, so yeah, any volatility in this area, I want to be just just eating up, gobbling up here, uh, and then, uh, yeah, layering orders to both sides, having that volatility play out, and then just filling uh, and completing trades, making money, right? That is a strategy that I am uh, looking to implement, implement this week, okay? And I'll let you guys know when I do that. But as of right now, we're gonna be looking for potentially a violation of, of the 58s again, uh, if, if, that, if it is more of a bearish scenario. But I do think we bounce uh, around this area anyway, uh, just, just bluntly, okay? I, I really do. Uh, I, I think it's very unlikely that we just fall off a cliff here. But uh, again, we have to be realistic. And uh, if, it, if it is going to absorb this wick and have a, a continuation candle down, then uh, yeah, we need to be uh, eyeing up targets for potential reversals from that point. And the main support area, uh, I would say, is around this 57, 58K area. Again, it is below 60K. We talked about this in previous videos. And when we get below 60K, everyone goes short. All right, so uh, this would be the perfect time to liquidate everyone. Every Everyone enters their shorts. We then get a massive bounce. The market makers then liquidate everyone up here. We make the money because we longed, okay? Uh, that's that's really the plan coming through here. Uh, and if it does want to continue down, we'll have tight stops, of course. Uh, and we're really looking at this trend line coming through, okay? We're looking at this trend line. If we lose this trend line, it's pretty bad. Uh, and we'll have to kind of reevaluate that strategy and maybe aim for one a bit lower here down, uh, down in this area. But as of right now, yeah, we are expecting a bounce. This is a massive, massive downtrend, guys. This is not something that's small. This is a 50 well, if we were going for the whole thing, it's about 17% downtrend here. So uh, yeah, I would expect a bit of a pump up at some point. Okay, uh, so yeah, and I would expect that to happen before July because just because yeah, I mean, they don't want to be caught out by uh, this Mount Gox situation, okay? Uh, so yeah, that, that's what I would say on that front. What I will say though as well is if we do get over 66.3, it's actually really, really bullish. We'll be back above the bull market barrier and we could probably target up to 70K with a pretty decent long here of 5%. So uh, that would be the second trade I'm looking for there. The first trade is obviously a grid bot in this area, so we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, maybe if this measure move does want to play out, then uh, yeah, maybe we can find a short on the way down there. But uh, kind of Risky, I would say, uh, being in such a downtrend. Anyway, if we are looking at this on more of a, a micro time frame, an hourly, we can see this beautiful little triangle pattern that has formed. We did break out from it. Okay, you could also draw something like this uh, and then reevaluate, I would say, uh, a retest of this support here at 61K. Uh, and then if we break over this high, there is a little long potential that could come through here. So again, we're really only looking to get to about 62K here where this four hour volume weighted ATR band is. Uh, if we can get up there, fantastic. So we'll be targeting like a, yeah, a little, 
nearly a 1% trade here up to this level. And this four hour is super, super important. If we break above this four hour volume weighted ATR band, uh, then uh, it's a great sign. And one thing I will say is, uh, yeah, we, we typically get pumps once we reclaim um, the, these kind of areas, right? So uh, I know this looks kind of confusing. Uh, let's just get rid of the 15 minute one. So it's uh, easier to see for you guys coming through. Go on, mate. Load. Load the charts. I, I spent ages working on this indicator, and this indicator is so slow on trading view, unfortunately. I would like to make it more efficient, but I'm just not that good at coding. I'm a trader at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the four hour. We're talking about the bottom side, volume weighted ATR band. We have been below this for some time. We should be expecting a pretty aggressive pump up once we reclaim it, but uh, we may not reclaim it just yet, okay? So just be careful. I want to see multiple confirmations above this bad boy before we claiming it and then we could probably target up here uh to to yeah the 60 minute kind of area i know we have a lot of different uh a lot of different trades and stuff coming through here let's just get rid of these these are from previous times and yeah it did play out the measure move here towards the downside for sure uh but yeah what we can say with this is we do have a small measure move up to this area anyway so this would be the the ultimate aggressive gambly scalp uh, to target i would say uh from about 60 61.6 up to 62.2. Uh, so yeah, that, that's that's what I would say on that front. If we are looking more on a four hour, you can see here it does look like it wants to curl over here. I did say once we make a four hour low that I'll be looking to set up that grid bot. But upon further evaluation, uh, we, we're going to look at this wick here first, right? This wick is super important. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, absorbing that wick towards the other side is something Bitcoin loves to do a lot. All right. So uh, yeah, I mean, this is indi indication. This is an indication of buy pressure, right? So what we will say with this is, yeah, if this does want to come up here first and then reject, then we would have absorbed that wick and we could easily continue the dump down. And we want to be cautious of that, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on that one. But as of right now, we are chilling, we're waiting, and uh, we're, we're just going to see how this goes for now, okay? We do have multiple trades, which I'm going to summarize again for you right here, right now. So we're looking for this one in the more immediate term, okay? Uh, and uh, yeah, we're looking for the grid bot strategy uh, upon a daily low coming through, potentially around uh, 57, that kind of area, okay? And uh, of course, of course, uh, if we break above the four hour volume weighted ATR band, we'll be targeting a trade all the way up to this trend line here, which is about 64.5. So let's just take a look at where that is, 64.5. Uh, what do you know roughly where the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band is predicted to be, right? This indicator is just gold, okay? And so you Patreons, if you haven't got it yet for free, then feel free uh, to, uh, to message me, right? But um, yeah. Look at that, 64, 64, 5. That's another trade potentially to target here over the next couple of days. So that's pretty much the gist of it. That's what we're looking for right now. If you have got the value from this, again, no BS here. We are just giving you the quality trading uh, here that my mentors taught me uh, and I'm hopefully teaching you guys, right? Uh, I do have one more thing. And again, like the video, I don't know if I said that already, but like the video, uh, if uh, if you are like experiencing that value and, and you're grateful for that, then uh, I appreciate it, right? But uh, yeah, carrying on here, we can see the on-chain, um, not, not great. Not great here. The consumption index is still going down. That means miners are spending less less money on electricity to mine. Okay, difficulty won't be reflected in that so much. Okay, so uh, yeah, I mean this this is more of a, a macro move where miners are getting a bit more cautious, I would say. Okay, uh, if we are looking at the energy value for Bitcoin calculated in various ways, okay, I'm, I'm not the uh, I'm not the guy here to explain this calculation, but uh, yeah, I mean it's 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 doing some kind of algorithm rhythmic thing and calculates the price. But the main point here is this calculation is plotted on the charts. And when we get above this line, okay, this red line, then uh, we go parabolic. So that line is currently around 76.3. And this is going to be the key area to get over. If we get over 76.3, then uh, yes, money to be made long term. We just long, we wait, and we bang it. Okay, this is more for the investors out there. Okay, uh, you get on you use my affiliate link, okay? You get on the exchange and then you bang it in, okay? Once we get over this line, uh, if you've done your own research, of course, this is never financial advice, but this is where I'm gonna be banging in a lot more, okay? <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, that, then the last thing here right now is the ETF 
on-chain uh, inflows and outflows. I have noticed this is repainting because we did see this down at minus 200 million on this. Okay, the other day, I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, now it's a 73 million. So did they recalculate? Are they just scamming us? What's going on here? What is going on here with this data? Uh, but what we can say here right now is, yeah, I mean, uh, multiple bearish days. Okay, we had a 21 cent inflow the other day, which was amazing. Not great. It's just neutral, right? And the, but before that, yeah, another four bearish days here for out flows. So yes, institutions, big money, smart, uh, smart money is getting a little bit scared out there. Uh, and the fear, fear and greed index is also uh, at fear as well. It's been the lowest point it's at uh, since 2022. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Again, caution, slow down. We are orange here. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day and uh, trade safe out there because these are dangerous times in the market. Patreons, I gave you a free update, okay? So the free Patreon members, I gave you an update this morning. And then uh, paid Patreon guys, I gave you three trade setups that you can use here on multiple coins. So feel free to check that out. But uh, without further ado, peace out. Goodbye.